Good morning. Um, this is due to time. Just uh, still in my princess mode um, as it's Monday morning. And um, yeah, I'd like to do something different today. And the reason is, um, yeah, I did a really stupid mistake because I was recording the last uh, episode of Studio Time and <laughs> when I was watching it before uploading, I just got, um, yeah, that somehow the last five minutes, uh, my mic here, I have always with me, just lost the connection. Um, yeah, to the receiver and so I was talking 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 but um, yeah, I was not able to uh, yeah it was not recorded so um, I was thinking about some some ideas how to how to solve it and the only idea I just got um, to, 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 to yeah, save this this episode was let's do kind of Chris is watching Chris studio time and commenting. So when there is something wrong, stupid, whatever, I will, I will, I will go <laughs> into this and stop it or repeat and talk to that. Or in, especially in the last um, five to ten minutes, I can just explain what I might have talked because, of course, I can't remember. And what's also different, I can show you already the result of uh, this episode because I was thinking about a new or in general a jingle for studio time so and this is it So let's switch the screen and let's switch to studio time and let's see how I did this intro, jingle, whatever. Hey guys, welcome back to studio time and welcome. today, uh, yeah. This episode will be about producing a um, perfect matching intro for uh, Studio Time and I was just of course thinking about this amazing song by Mr. Paul Collins because we have, let's wait, I think something we all know and which is yeah, used so many times already with the word studio uh, instead of to studio what he's Hey Chris, great idea. So, um, yeah, I, I would have done the same. Uh, thinking about doing kind of, uh, yeah, like I said, metal style. So um, we have this. Um, I already uh, checked this out. Um, we have this uh, this uh, three notes. Da, da, da. One, two, Sometime three. Again. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Let's check this again. But okay. Love this Phil Collins song, by the way. This has been four notes, but now it's back to three. Something like this. So um, I wanna, I wanna, um, yeah, follow this line in my um, metal song. So um, yeah, let's. Switch to the full screen and let's um, check out some studio stuff and um, let's check out mm -hmm. how to bring this um, to to an intro to jingle and I already recorded the line like this so to start with. <laughs> And of course, some drums got already. So let's check this out with the drums. So, guys. Okay. 
get that the perfect line and now just have to record it again uh, in a new way. Um, yeah. A good way. That's always good. I love when he's doing good things. Drop A, by the way. Let's see. Oh. A, this is lower B than goes. B. That's more pain in the ass, but you know. I just want to have to. I just up. switch a little bit because I don't think we need all this tuning all the time. Cool lick. Got this down by uh, reminds me of Suicide Silence. Okay. So the guitar is done. Just bring them to the normal volume. Shout out to recording. What I want to do with the intro is, of course, kind of, it should be, I don't know, coming from the off. Could have switched yeah. the screen already. I think I'll love just That's see my this, hands. This track, and so we have the basic um, story. Ah, I just copied this. Hey, this, this recording track that I have the, the um, this do -do 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 this intro single because now I can of course um, create something um, like I don't know kind of filter stuff or whatever. So. Um, Let's see. Use uh, kind of a single uh, band thing. Filters are great. Uh, like da, 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 da. Let's see what what's, what kilohertz is doing. There's a Slipknot. I think people equal shit. I just found out what Slipknot was doing, so... That's, that's funny, so we could automize this. But I didn't, I haven't done it in purpose. And let's use the frequency shift and then, I don't know, let's create a kind of... Uh, going down from to zero. Something I really, maybe you know better, because I never found a, a, a way to. It's really good enough. Let's skip a bit. Because I think I was just doing it twice then. Type in the optimization um, numbers or the, 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 yeah, the amount of I want to have because then I could, of course, uh, uh I think what I wanted to tell why I was working uh, in this scene was just that um, you know the problem that when you put some optimization inside of logic, um, you don't get any, um, there's no chance to type in numbers that, for example, you go from 100 to 20 
you can just draw it and it would be great if you can put a number but I never found it so um, if any one of you knows how to type in the current numbers because for example in Final Cut you can do that you can automate just with type in numbers and that makes everything more presses more on point and easier so feel free and let's see what I done. Okay. It's just gone, so this is not what I want to have. I, I would like this rise or something like that. No. So we got the filters okay. now and um Always good when I put my face over the plugin, by the way. But it's, I can just, uh, yeah, tell the secret it's Rise and Hit by Native Instruments, so. Let's switch a little bit forward. Not the right one. Oh, great. No, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, back again. I think finally and we found the right lift. I mean, it's just about checking out. So, so it's, um, there's no secret in rise and hits, by the way. Through the drums. Yeah, this, I, I told you already, I, I, I have set in a template. Um, yeah, in, in which I in which I have uh, the, the drums separated in different in the sections like bass drum, toms, snare drums and all the things and then when I when I have the, the, the whole lick ready I just transfer it then to the to the final sounding drum so I okay. will skip this as well ah well, bass It's okay if you have one cool bass sound, by the way, that's fine. Still looking for new bass sounds all the time, but at the moment I'm quite happy with that one. Oh, and of course some tuning. I skip, skip this, skip, 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 ba 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 bo. He's the bass man. I mean, I'm not a bass player, but for jingles and demo tracking, it's okay. So don't, don't be mad with me. So after 500 times, I think I have recorded bass then. I don't know what's wrong now, but I think the, the, the audio is out with the video, so I hope it's getting uh, better later on, so I think what I did, by the way, again with the bass is first I, I was playing exactly the same thing like the, um, yeah, like the guitar was playing, but um, 
uh, in fact, uh, it's sometimes not a good a good idea. It's of course the modern metal some is, is more often doing that, but but you should you should think about like like in this intro part you have just a snare drum. There is no bass, and usually of course the bass drum and the bass are engaged, uh, married, whatever they need. They should be together and before for the groove and for the sound, but here, um, yeah, we we have to think about. I was I was thinking about doing that the same. So we, we just put a bass on the da -dum and then break, and then when it's when there's the, the the full drum kit playing, then of course we we follow the guitar. So let's see if the audio is back with the with the video and what I've done here. Ah, bass equalization. Yeah, I mean, it's always good, also, if, especially if you are working with lower tunings. Um, even if you have a sound, you, can, you should always check. Um, maybe there is some frequency which could be, I don't know. Could destroy this the hotel the hotel California sound, the whole sound I wanted to say. So oh. yeah, that's fine. That's completely okay. Um, we're only got twenty minutes. Okay, that's fine. So again, the whole thing. Ah, not exactly. Wait, loud again. You can get the lift. The the hot, the rise. Let's go back to the original <laughs> version. <laughs> da, 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 da. We can we can we can do kind of additional guitar on the um. always great to check out new something uh, metal of course guitar lines. Greetings to Sepultura. Now some black metal. I think we can skip it also. Let's go a little bit back. Ah, guitar. Perfect. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm quite sure that when, when I can, if I remember right, then from this moment. I lost the microphone. So, let's let's play a little bit on this stuff. It's better. No. <laughs> First tune. Of course not. Ball bending. Okay, let's skip. But I, I I was checking, and I think while I was recording the solo guitar, then I lost the microphone. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah, those banding, dirty banding notes. I think I was checking out some stuff right now to Anyway, it will be later on just in the very back of the song or of the intro. So as you could already hear while I was showing it to you. Um, it's really just somewhere and it's always good to record different versions or check out while recording, put a loop on because sometimes there's things happening and you really love it. But when you have to play it again, you can't, <laughs> you know, this ah, not on point, I don't know, this feeling or this moment was, is never happening again. So just play, play, keep it and then afterwards check out what was cool or what was not that cool so then you can 
uh, select afterwards. Not while you're recording because your head is now into this tracking and yeah, it just kills the feeling. Too much head is killing the feeling. So, a lot of nice tracks. Let's go a little bit to the thing now. I, I was, yeah, let's see. Yeah. Oh. I was checking out and I decided to take this one. And then um, you can't see because I was, yeah. So, into the guitar that I forgot to. Uh, switch back to the full screen because now I'm checking out the, 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 the equalization and what I remember is to have of course delay and what I wanted to have is also kind of um, chorus or uh, effect on it and now you can already get the, the delay so let's go Oh. So I got everything with the um, guitars and now it was time to show you some um, wonderful growths. I don't know what I, what I said in this conversation with the microphone, but I'm quite sure that I, I was telling, oh no, it's the first time ever in studio time that um, I'm recording vocals live. Let's say growled. It's not singing, but for because for this intro, um, I think it would would have been best to to growl, not to not to um, sing. So oh, just checking and um, yeah. Funny, funny wise, I was I was. Um, quite sure you can get it because um, it's on the we are recording with my UAD um, Apollo X6 and so let's see okay not I don't know why because um, on the um, we're going out from the from the Apollo with two headphones out. So one headphone out is going into my video system and into OBS, and one is going on my headphones, as you can see. And on the headphones, I could listen to it, and also the signal is coming uh, into the logic. But maybe I I, I had I have to um, activate this um, yeah monitoring thing also in in. Um, and logic could be the only reason why so, so. but no here are vocals so, so. So, so. you can get this too so, 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 so similar that's really cool just love it and yeah let's let's go forward and here we have so, so. We have doubled now the, the, the vocals and yeah, you can still see that there is a lot of track, vocal track, we, I think it has to be, um, has to be uh, cut it or will be cut it and yeah here in, in, in slide the in, infinity equal, equalization um, I, I usually um, just check out what are the, 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 the template presets by, for example, by Mr. Steam Slate's uh, guys. Um, yeah, and because they, they, they are on point kind of, and then later I just check out what I can what I can change um, in the in the preset. Also here with a, with a with a microphone, as you as you could see, I use I'm using the Steam Slate microphone in the virtual mic uh, section, and I love the distressor by Steam Slate. Um, I put it on kind of I don't know any instrument, not just to make the compression, but also the sound. I think to make it more warm or to make it 
more direct or whatever. He's, he's doing great. As well. and you can see, I cut everything. And we have already kind of uh, Lamp of God. Local style. So creating a side chain. On a side chain, um, it's always good to put some dirt. This is dirt. Captain Dirt. Can get it in some seconds. As soon as I will put it more to the maximum. Now we have this aggression. Uh, a little bit too much, maybe. But it gives a great feel. Yeah, we'll have to reduce that. And what's always a good good idea, and uh, kind of let's call it secret, is if you put on the side chain a, a pitch shifter uh, as well, put your growls on minus one half tone down, and of course to the maximum. And this, um, yeah, pitch, you also um, put onto your vocal mix, because then you get with a as you don't sing, I mean, there is no real, um, there's, it's a kind of melody, but it's not really a melody, you're not singing, so um, if, you, if you put a minus half to the real tune of your voice, uh, usually it will destroy everything, of course, just try that out, I will, you, you get a feeling of puke if you listen longer to that, but uh, on a growl, you can put a minus half to the full, and then it's just sounding uh, even more uh, aggressive. So I'll find some reverb. And let's see when I have put the reverb on it. What I was doing now, a little already on the final. I could I could reduce 40 to 30 minutes I think. That's amazing. Maybe I shall do that all the time. First recording and then talking about that. But doing everything at the same time is way easier. So I think just leveling, checking. Ah, no. I was doing, I was checking out the shred spread. The plugins alliance. Um, it's uh, yeah. Usually it's doing the spread, but here I put it more to the middle to have the vocals really like in your face. So. So, we're close to the end. Just... I really have to set this camera like the one now, maybe, because I think when I put my, my face so big on the screen, like here, just... Uh, I'm just on all plugins, but hey, these are mistakes. It's just a fifth or sixth episode. So can't be a pro from the beginning on. It's learning by doing. Yeah, Chris likes it, I like it as well, so I guess that's the perfect channel. I think we are yeah, at the very end, last 
last steps. So that's why I don't want to stop. Let's let's enjoy this last minute. We are on 30 seconds to Mars, and here we've been to almost on 40. So I think yeah, let's compare Mr. Phil Collins with Mr. Studio Time and dance. Wow. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a kind of uh, I guess it was also early in the morning, so I think it was more, uh, more or less, uh, kind of. Um, could be a crap, crap dance. Yeah, again. Still the same song. So, um, yeah, I think it was a really great episode um, to watch it again, to explain to you some stuff and um, yeah, to listen to this song again. So let's do that together. Let's listen one time to Studio Time. I switch back to our Studio Time screen and here we go with Studio Time. Thanks for watching. No, it's not coming. Here we go. Do the time. See you in the next episode.